you know, there are national solutions to problems that will benefit Alaska. But the starting point for me will always be, how can I get results for Alaska today and for the next generation? For too long, Alaskans have been hurt by cigarette deals and hidden favors for special interests. The only way to change that is clean up the process. I've always believed that if you're in the public service, everything you should do and do in your job will be open to the public. In the mayor's office, we don't have cigarette meetings. My personal finances, in good and bad, have been open to the public all my life. It's not the way Washington works. We need a senator as independent as Alaska that starts by putting Alaskans first and being open with everybody. I'll work, I'll work to pass a Federal Transparency Act modeled after tough standards we have here in Anchorage. First, financial disclosures will detail every dollar of income for a senator and their spouse, like they do here in Alaska, and they will be publicly available on the internet. Right now, if you want to see the official financial disclosure of any U.S. Senator, you have to travel to Washington, D.C. And then they destroy the records after six years, just in time for the next election. <laughs> Our Alaska Senator should be making it easier for Alaskans to see the truth, not harder. There should be an independent ethics board of citizens, and they should have no ties to the Senate or conflicts of interest. Here in Anchorage, we have an ethics board that includes everyday citizens, a minister and a priest. I guarantee you they will find the truth. <laughs> but in Washington, senators police themselves, and their idea of reform is paid staffers monitoring the senators. If senators have nothing to hide, they shouldn't have to worry about who's watching over them. Here's another Washington double standard. Right now, senators have automatic pay raises and automatic increases on how much they can accept in campaign money. It's amazing. But time after time, senators have voted to kill increases in the minimum wage and even to deny bonuses for our combat troops. Here's an idea. Senators should only get pay raises when they vote to raise the minimum wage for working people in this country. And finally, let's make every meeting any elected official has with a lobbyist public record and post it on the web. I believe the only way to restore trust in government for government is to earn it. We've seen it here in Alaska the ultimate result of unfettered greed and grainy videotapes and state legislators in hotel rooms laughing at the citizens of our great state. And we've seen it in Washington, the ultimate result of special influence and legislative indifference. Whether it's the national debt that's killing our economy or cigarette deals behind closed doors hurting our, our state here, the fact is Alaska deserves better. We are a strong state. All you have to do is look Look at what we've been able to accomplish in Anchorage and to see what we can do for the rest of the state. And I am determined to be the senator for all of Alaska. You know, I'm reminded how important that is every day of my life. 36 years ago, I lost my father. He was 40, I was 10. It had a huge impact on our family and our state. People ask me what would have happened if he had lived. I wonder what he could have accomplished had he lived another 30 or 40 years. I think about that quite a bit. As someone in public service trying to help make people's lives better, it's what drives me every single day. I think about the woman who told me a story about special education. On the back of a napkin, she sketched out a law that my dad passed when he was in the state legislature. Today, thousands of Alaskan kids are better off, of it, off for it today. That's how I look at life today. What can we do today for a 10-year-old that I see on the street or at a school or in the shopping mall? What will be the impact for them that I can do for 30 to 40 years from now where their life be better? And that's why this campaign is so important and only with your help, will it be successful. Together, we will build a strong future for all Alaskans, and I want to thank you for being here today. God bless you.